This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at particles and simulators in Apple Motion 5.4. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the Rappel simulator with a particle system. I'm going to select the planet, go to Behaviors, Simulations, Rappel. What Rappel does is it's going to repel all objects in the frame. Let's look at our arrow. And it's such a strong repellent that that the <laughs> it says no can't get there. So let's tweak the repel just a bit. I'm going to increase the strength, but I'm going to decrease the influence. What the influence does is it says when an object is within a thousand pixels, I'll start to affect it. Well, I want this to be much less. I want the spaceship to get within 200 pixels or so. No magic to the number. And now when I look at it, see how it gets close and then it gets repelled. All right. Then the fall-off rate determines how quickly the, that effect fades. If the lower the number, the stronger the effect. The higher the number, the worse the effect, the, 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 uh, the less the effect. So here I click on the throw behavior, and I'll tweak the repel. All right, let's just watch this. It's getting closer. And now it's about to intersect with the planet, and the planet says, no! And it flies away. Oh, my gracious, that was close. Hit the brakes. The brakes aren't working. Give it to me anyway. Boom, away we go. <gasps> Could I do that with keyframes? Nothing that I want to do <laughs> in this lifetime is going to want to have me keyframe that. Notice how it slows down. It pushes against. It turns around. Oh, cool. Well, let's try something different. Now, here's an arrow. I just changed its color. I've put the arrow in with the throw behavior. The throw behavior just takes this arrow straight up. And I've applied an existing particle system called Smoke One. You'll find it in Particle Emitters Smoke One. And the smoke is sort of flowing down through the frame. We know how, using the, how, using the HUD to change the direction of flow, we know how to change the size. And the arrow is underneath, but it really doesn't make any difference. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to select the arrow. I'm going to go up to Simulators. I'm going to select Repel. What Repel does is repels everything that's not attached to the arrow. Let's go to the inspector because there's a core setting here. Notice that it says, do you want to affect all objects in the motion project, which is what I want, or just objects that are in the same folder. Well, notice that arrow is in one folder and smoke is in a different folder, so that's no good. Or you can have it repel specific objects. In this case, I could have, say, the planet and the smoke and the arrow, and the planet would be repelled, but the smoke would not, or vice versa. But I'm going to do all objects so you can see what's going on. And notice now, look at that. It chases the particles away. Well, let's make that even stronger. Let's make the strength bigger so we have a stronger repel force and change the influence so only those pixels which are closest to the arrow get repelled. Now when we play it, is that cool? Like it's, like it's drifting through space or that the arrow is an object. Now here's the other cool part. Let's say I uncheck the arrow. The arrow is now invisible, but the effect is still in force. So I can create this of the, of the dust blowing away, save that as a movie, drop it into Final Cut, and then composite an, an image of a spaceship on top of it, which looks like it's blowing the particles away, but actually it's just the invisible arrow underneath. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at particles and simulators in Apple Motion 5.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 247. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. 
you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.